The main point that I'm going to be making this evening is that uh, in order to keep the cost down for electricity in the future, energy supplies, we've got to go down the decarbonisation route in any case. We've looked at what's happened to gas prices over the last couple of years. They're over 50% up on the, when this government came to power in 2010, and that's been the main driver of rising prices. And what we've therefore got to do is to decarbonise the energy system, but to do it in a way that's relentlessly focusing on how we keep costs down for consumers. The new market reform structure is an integral part of that process. How we get new investment to come in, how we give certainty to investors, but we do that in a low-cost way. We're looking at how government can reduce the cost by re removing political uncertainty and giving greater longer-term contracts, with the government acting as the counterparty in that approach. We're looking at how we can take the costs out of individual technologies through the cost reduction task forces, for example, in offshore wind and carbon capture and storage. Because at the end of the day, we never forget who pays the bills. And what we've got to do is get an unprecedented amount of new investment in new and emerging technologies but we're absolutely committed to doing that in a way that uh, always has the consumer in mind. I'm particularly pleased that tonight's event is being organised by Policy Exchange because they've got a tremendous amount of expertise in this sector. They've been leading some of the thinking, they've been challenging government. Uh, they're in a perfect position to say what are the big issues we need to address and how are we going to go about addressing those. So it couldn't be in a better venue. International outlook, which I think is really helpful. Because people often used to say to me that, well, if this is so good, why aren't other countries doing it in the same way? Why are we doing more than Europe? We are.